What's up everyone? <laughs> we got another greenhouse tour. Yes, and it's a little chilly out. Eh, it's not it's, too bad. It's just the breeze. She's in her t-shirt, I'm in a sweatshirt. <laughs> it's not how it usually goes, is it? No, but I have the garage doors open and I'm working in the garage today. Oh yeah, it has been raining, I feel like, on yeah. and off for the last week straight. So just the fact that it's not raining right now, it feels wonderful out. <laughs> I bet you it's really warm in there. <laughs> Let's find out. You guys are fogging up on me. It's humid out. <laughs> well, yeah, take our word for it. Everything is good. And this will be it for this video. <laughs> I see it in your eyes. Yeah, I can read the signs. You need to get away. It's time we make a change. Oh, you know, you'll always have me. plant starts most are really wanting to be outside and hopefully over the next course of the next week or two at least these cold hardy things we can start getting out in the garden we have been waiting waiting and now that the weather was finally getting a decent temperature we've had so much rain so now that that's ending hopefully we can get some of these out our cabbage are looking kind of sad back there so I know they really need that our tomato starts all 150 are starting to come up. They're just starting though, and they're so sparse that I am a little bit nervous about them, but I'm trying not to worry about it because worst case scenario, if our tomato starts don't work, I guess we buy tomato starts, right? Peppers and onions doing good. I actually didn't get the onions outside today. We've been trying to harden them off so they are ready for the garden. So probably right after this, we'll slip them outside for a little bit. We had a cayenne pepper sprout since last week. So I'm really have been nervous about these cayennes and these Tabascos that they're not going to come up. And no Tabascos have come up yet. So that doesn't look that great. And it's probably a little too late to start them. But one of the cayennes did. And as I mentioned last week, we don't even really need them. It would just be nice to have them going. Okay, I can't do this no more. Hot. You guys are just, no, it's not because I'm hot. I'm doing it for them because they're fogging up. <laughs> That should do it. Look at that, they can see. <laughs> it's a nice breeze. Look at this lettuce back here, you guys. This is crazy. This was not like this last week. You know how we said we were gonna take these starts and just plop them all over? I think we like need to do that now. So thankfully this kind of stuff can go out in the garden anytime now. So hopefully Matt or I find time to go do that. I also went ahead and I planted one more or a couple more of the Minnesota midget and the muskmelon in this tray where they hadn't come up. So I'm hoping those come up soon, but this rhubarb mat, it's looking really good. <laughs> now we just gotta get it planted. Look at that lettuce, that's crazy. We've got no new sprouts on the celery and the ones that are up seem to be doing okay. They almost look a little yellow. Someone in our last video commented that you never cover celery seeds up with dirt to just lay them right on top of the dirt. Do you remember who that was? Uh -huh. So next year I'm gonna give that a try because maybe that has been my problem all along because I really struggle with these celery starts and maybe they just need to get started a lot sooner too. They're just so tiny or maybe I just need to dump microgreens into the dirt because that works so well. 
the kids helicopter tree has some real leaves going on it see the true leaves right there look at that who thinks it's a maple tree how long before we find out if it's officially a maple tree do we have to have planted in our yard to find out it's a tree we didn't want so the onions I think they're tired of growing because they all laid down dad joke <laughs> They're, they're starting to lay down, and I'm guessing it's because of the cover. But I don't know. Maybe not, because they should be getting plenty of sunlight. But I think we can trim them again. But how do we have to decide how we're going to do that, because some of them are going to seed, and we want them to go to seed so we can save the seed. One onion going to seed is probably plenty of seed for us in a year. Unless we want to plant another 1,000 onions next year. Land of a Thousand Onions, right? Yeah. <laughs> that was a suggestion for a name for our channel. Land of a Thousand Onions. <laughs> <laughs> so the Paris Market Carrots, still here. <laughs> but the kale's going good. And actually we tried that in the dish and we actually really liked it fried in the pan. It was very, very, very good and not bitter whatsoever when it was fried. I didn't think so. And the kids didn't think so. The kids even liked it. So I was really shocked. So I'm thinking, I'm looking into the future. I think we're going to be planting that this winter. Yeah. It'll be a good health boost for us through the winter too. So the Celtus is starting to get stocks. And that's what we've been waiting for. So we're super excited to try that. And see how that really tastes. Because we've definitely never grown that. And every year... We're always going to try something new every single year because why not? We make our kids eat new vegetables, so why can't we? <laughs> Can you see me? Can you see me now? See me over here? <laughs> Look at this thing. I can't see you. This thing's crazy. Look how big that is. I'm going to have to tie it up. I'm going to tie that up, but that looks really cool. I can't wait until that goes to seed so we have more seed for next year. I'm really kind of liking saving my own seed. It's kind of cool. Just because you did it. You nurtured that plant. You brought it to seed. Whether you did it on purpose or not. <laughs> but yeah, it's doing good. And the Easter egg radishes are also doing good. They're at the point where probably one more week and we can start trimming the trim. We can start trimming the greens off of the one roll. And those carrots back there are just taking off. I just can't believe it. They're probably going to go to seed. I might have to uh, thin those rutabaga just so the celery can grow since we won't get any anywhere else. I think Sarah is going to have to definitely do that. <laughs> <laughs> because the rutabaga are starting to kind of shade on her celery over here. The celery's still doing really good. I can't believe it. That blows my mind that it's grown here from microgreens and you can't grow it in a pot. <laughs> So lettuce, we've been eating it every single day for lunch and sometimes for supper also. So we've been just crushing that thing, but it's still staying ahead of us, so that's good. And the butter crunch lettuce just looks so gorgeous, like you want to pick it up and just eat it. Now watch, that's going to be rad radicchio. No, butter crunch. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's really changed on the spinach. You know, it's still pretty small, not that big, not growing that much. Just kidding, it's growing like crazy. We are going to freeze some of this. And uh, there was a dish, I took a screenshot that someone said to try. And we're going to also try that. It was um, Bradley. And my carrots are doing just wonderful because of me planting them so thick. <laughs> we'll see if we get a crop out of them. Sarah hasn't had time to weed them. Or thin them, not weed them, thin them. Why should I have to thin your carrots? I said plant them two inches apart. <laughs> I did plant them two inches apart. It's just some seeds fell off. <laughs> that is far from two inches. And that's it! Ta-da! <laughs> so I can't actually remember which herbs are coming up last week, but I think every single one has greens. The fennel, the basil, the chives, of course, the thyme, the chamomile, the sage. Oh, this is sage. What was that? That was cumin down there. Here's the sage, the calendula, the oregano, and the only one that we don't have greens from, the mint. All of them have these lovely little divots in here 
made by somebody's little monster truck. Eli was out here with me the other day and he uh, took all the monster trucks through the mud. <laughs> Paint the little. The flower plants that a couple of the kids planted are doing really well. And then I brought something new out here. I brought out some ginger. Um, I found some organic ginger at the store and I wanted to try and get it to root. I just think it would be really neat if we could grow our own ginger. I've also been looking at growing our own turmeric and it's the same kind of concept. So, so that when I saw the ginger, I thought, let's give that a try. And if I can get it to work, wouldn't that be awesome? I do believe I have to overwinter it inside the house, but one thing won't be too bad, will it? Just like the peppers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.